Canis minor and major. Canis minor has few spectacular sights. At 11 and a half light years away, we find Procyon A, the star attraction in the sector. Procyon A has a white dwarf in a highly elliptical binary orbit, which makes type 1A supernovas possible. This occurs when a white dwarf in binary systems take mass off its larger companion. Procyon is an aging subgiant, and the helium flash ignition may occur any time from now up to 100 million years into the future. Procyon is the eighth brightest star in the sky and part of the winter triangle with Sirius and Betelgeuse. The Vermilion bird of the south is the given name of Procyon by the ancient Chinese astronomers. It was a phoenix. In the lore of the ancient American Indians, stories were told about a herdsman, Icarus, transforming into Procyon and becoming the little dog star. Ptolemy only noted Procyon and Nonesia in this constellation. Nonesia is 162 light years away and injecting its outer layers. At just over eight and a half light years away, Sirius is available 365.5 days a year. You could say one could set a clock on it. Seriously, the mythology of Sirius is as vast as space and includes notations from every culture going back in time to ancient Egypt, from India, and the New Americas. Stories are found in tarot cards, the dog star, Plato and Atlantis, in Freemasonry as the all-seeing eye, as baby Jesus in Christianity, which was actually said to be a Egyptian story of Horus, the son of Isis, Isis being the name of Sirius, the star. One example is the Eastern star Christian cult back in the 1970s, a women's Masonic practice which was based on the star of Isis and baby Jesus. The Quran makes a similar claim that God and humanity started in a system of Sirius A and its white dwarf companion. These two stars make possible type 1A supernovas. A more likely scenario is that in the past an observance of the nova was mistaken as a message from God. Sirius B is about 30,000 degrees Kelvin, according to the HR diagram, and is among the hottest white dwarfs. Best observance for Sirius is in the winter months using at least an 8-inch telescope. Just south of Sirius, some 23,000 light years away, is Messier 41, an open cluster galaxy. At 3,662 light years away, in the northwest quadrant of Canis Major, is a structure called Thor's Helmet, also known as NGC 2359. This structure was created by a wolf rayonet star. This one, HD 56925, has created Thor's Helmet and made a large dome-shaped nebula. At 3,840 light years away is a monster. Think about Jaws, the great white shark. We're going to need a bigger boat. Now imagine a star whose size is so immense that its presence would envelop the entire orbit of Saturn. Now imagine that star is near the end of its life. V.Y. Canis Majoris is a hypergiant and makes all other stars in the known universe dwarf by comparison. At one billion times our sole star, V.Y. Canis Majoris is expected to go hypernova in the relatively near future, up to 100,000 years. When the gamma ray burst reaches the Fermi satellite, we should finally know that a new black hole has been created. Our last stop is 80 million light years away, a pair of mating galaxies, NG, C2207 and IC2163, currently merging in the eastern quadrant of Canis Major. Like two cogs, these spiral galaxies bind their gravity wheels together into a larger celestial mechanism.